a Thunderdome millionaire. Go fuck yourself, boy. Hot user! We told you not to go live. Why don't you fucking make me, dude? Wouldn't it be easier not to watch Cobra's fucking videos? There's a thought. I don't want Cobra going live. Well, you can't stop me, so here's a thought. Why don't you get a fucking life? What up, Cobra fam? We got ourselves a brand new drink combo, which involves oh, some E&J peach brandy. E&J has been made since the 1970s, man. And we're going to mix it with some Arizona Mucho Mango Tea. I actually tried a little bit of this earlier. Not too shabby. <clears throat> Speaking of my trolls, my trolls are accusing me of stalking a certain female. And it's complete bullshit. It is. I'm not going to name names because you know who you are. It just so happens that this certain female's parents like hanging out with me. And to me, it's about me and the parents' friendship. It's not about me and, the, and their daughter, you know? I can't help it if her daughter, if, they're, if, the, if the chicken questions parents like hanging out with me. I'm not trying anything, to be quite honest with you. And I've pretty much left her alone since the whole bite-sized cobra bullshit went down. You know? But can I help it if her dad likes hanging out with me? No, I cannot. You know, and the trolls are just mad jealous, too, because it's like you can't fucking win, dude. If I was a complete piece of shit and did what they were accusing me of doing, you know, then they'd have every, every right to say what they're saying. But I'm not. So it's like, what the fuck? And I quote, Josh, get your smoky badass down here. This is Walt. Bye. Cheers. I'll come right out and say it. Fuck it. Y'all need to leave Ellen Knights and her family the fuck alone, you sad, miserable pieces of shit. I don't give a shit if Ellen dates me, dude. I have a legion of fangirls that want to be with me. Okay? That's honestly her fucking loss. I have done nothing but try to care and be a solid friend. To be quite truthful with you. And shit that I've said in the past got taken out of context. And people were just like, oh, you know, hey, 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 hey. Here's a cute of age chick that Josh likes. That's got a lot in common with him. Good for him. I hope it works out. No, psych. We're going to harass them and their family so she doesn't want to date him. And for the record, I don't go and hang out with Walt and Angie all the fucking time, dude. We hang out, watch TV, and visit. Ooh. Oh, my God, Cobra. You such a bad, 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 bad boy. Like, fuck off, dude. You know, and I don't talk about them on YouTube hardly ever anymore for good reason. Because people are fucking dicks, dude. That's why they fucking harass Ellen and her family. Because... The thought of Cobra having female friends drives them fucking insane. And I can tell you why my trolls ain't getting a girlfriend or getting regular female friends. Because they spend all day every day fucking with King Cobra. What, you know, and it, even if you don't like the way I look, you think my teeth are disgusting, whatever. Okay, the fact is the fact. I have autism. And most respected women in the society are going to go, yeah, I don't care if Cobra finds farts funny. He's a dude. You know, they're going to look at you and go, wow, you spent all day harassing an autistic and his family and friends. You're a miserable piece of shit. I don't even talk to Ellen anymore, dude. And occasionally, Walt and Angie will give me a call and be like, hey, Josh, come down and visit with us. And, and do any of you ever talk to Ellen personally? Be like, is Josh really a piece of shit or what? She'll be like, no, actually, he's been super cool about backing off and not trying anything. Back off. Play it cool. Let her come to you, you know? And even if she doesn't, that's her loss, not mine. Mr. YouTube Celebrity.
No, you don't even know the half of it, dude. I'll get a fucking text message from some dickhead pretending to be Ellen's boyfriend. Telling me to leave her the fuck alone. And it's like, dude, you're fucking retarded. So there's nothing wrong with me and Angie and Walt being friends. I, I tend to get along with senior citizens a lot better than I do with people my own age. Because they don't judge, man. You know? And despite all my shortcomings and my faults, you know, I'm being told no by every chick I like. I still try. Even if the chick's stupid hot and way the fuck out of my league, I'm still going to try, dude. But there's an art form to trying, you know. If I did not live rent-free in my trolls' heads, they would not have all these fucking pages dedicated to hating Cobra. No, it's the truth, dude. I wish Ellen Knight and her Ellen Knight and her family nothing but the best. You know, her family seems to like me. You know, shit. I'll tell you this right now: if I'm hanging out with Walt and Angie, and Ellen shows up, I completely ignore her of age ass. I don't even talk to her. I don't look at her. I don't address her. I pretty much pretend like she's not there. Like Cobra, what makes Ellen Knight so special in your eyes? She plays guitar and she likes snakes. But that's all I'm going to say on that. It's not the simple, okay, like her beauty, that's a bonus, in my opinion. You know, it's the fact that she plays guitar and likes snakes. And she also smokes cigarettes. She loves to play video games. She's into anime, you know. Really cool chick, dude. And I, I'm going to continue what I've been doing, dude. Not trying anything and just backing off and being a solid friend to Walt and Angie. You know? And they want to accuse me of stalking. Go fuck yourself, dude. I, I pretty much, like when Ellen shows up, I don't do anything. I, I, I ignore her. Okay? I ignore her. If I walk past her in the hallway of Angie and Walt's house to go to the bathroom, the most I'll say is, excuse me, just, just to be polite. You know what I'm saying? I'm an internet rock star for fuck's sake. And when people ask me about Ellen, I'm going to be like, who, Ellen DeGeneres? I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Why don't you make me stop live streaming, you pussy? You know what's more important than getting laid? It's about making a good impression, YouTube. I had a really hot hot chick I went to high school with by the name of Alicia Rohde. And uh, back in the day, she'd accuse me of shit that I wasn't doing. And then I ran into her a couple years later. And she goes, shit, that's Saunders. I wish I wouldn't have rejected him. I'm like, yeah, you're only saying that because I'm a famous YouTuber and because you realize I'm not that bad of a guy after all, huh? You know what I'm saying? Like, I've pretty much left Ellen the fuck alone. I don't go over to her house unless I'm invited. You know, I dig Ellen Knight's personality. Her, beauty, her beautiful body and face, to me, that's just a bonus. It's just a bonus, YouTube. Ellen Knight struggles with bipolar tendencies. You know, she gets moody because of her bipolar disorder. So do you feel good about yourselves knowing that my buddy Walt is a disabled Vietnam vet? Knowing that Ellen struggles with bipolar disorders? Knowing that I have Asperger's? And you don't fucking care, dude. That's make, that just makes it that much funner for my fucking trolls because they're miserable pieces of shit. Put $100 in my fucking PayPal or Cash App and I'll make a video of me brushing my teeth. Oh, no, this, this isn't what you think it is. I get this stuff on my lips. You know, you know when your lips get all, like, weird? And, like, you go to wipe it off like this. See what I'm saying? 
I get this stuff on my lips. You know, everyone does that where it's like this weird stuff on your lips, like build up on your lips from like saliva and stuff. So you like you're gonna wipe it off on your sleeve, like yeah, that's what that is. That's another thing too. Like my fucking YouTube trolls are trying really hard to get to get my SSDI taken away, and it's not gonna work because one, my dad files taxes every year for my autistic ass, and two, the IRS is very much aware of my YouTube channel and what I do on YouTube. Every little fucking penny that I make on YouTube, customized girl, Teespring, you know, whatever. It's reported at the end of the year, so. And I could get a regular job by society standards if my trolls would just leave me the fuck alone. Like, hypothetical. Let's say I get a job at Burger King. Okay? Hypothetical. And everything's going good for a couple months, then one of my fans... Sees me at Burger King and doesn't think much of it. Hey, I saw Cobra working at Burger King kind of thing. And then that's all it takes, dude. Next thing you know, you know, it's the fact that Ellen Knight loves animals. Her favorite animals, one of them are snakes. And she plays guitar, dude. Like, for me, that's just, yeah. The fact that she's a smoking hot goth emo chick is just a bonus. How the fuck is it stalking when her father invites me down to hang out with him? I'm trying to fucking wrap my head around that, and I can't because my fucking YouTube trolls are dumb as shit. On the very, very rare occasion that I'm down at Walt and Angie's and Ellen comes over to say hi to her mom and dad, I don't even acknowledge her. Dude, if she starts talking to Walt and Angie and I'm in the same room, I'll pull out my cell phone and start dicking around on that just to... Find it, find a way to ignore her, you know? Like, I've backed off to the point where it's not even funny, you know? I have more fans than I do YouTube trolls, so I'm not the guy you want to fuck with. I have some fans in some high-up places. You know that? It's like, well, Cobra turned off his comment section, so it's like, how else can I harass him? I know. I'm going to harass his friends and his family because I'm a loser piece of yeah. shit. 72 likes. Well, that's most definitely what the frick is up. Now, I'm not trying to harp on about the whole Ellen thing, but me and Ellen have a lot in common to the point where it's scary. It's just like... I'm telling you right now, YouTube, my trolls are digging themselves deeper and deeper and deeper into a hole. And eventually, it's going to catch up to them, you know. A little bit of depression, I don't mind, because it's goth and all that. But when it gets to be overwhelming, it's just like, ugh, dude. You know. Uh, there we go. Uh. I say, here comes the sun, do 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 it's all right. Like, yeah, you know, my YouTube trolls are some miserable, fucked-off individuals, but anybody who tries to touch kids is just flat-out disgusting. I'm not going to name names because you know who you are. Oh, no, dude. Ellen Knight loves to sing and play guitar, and that's what I dig about her, you know? She loves animals, and she loves to sing and play guitar, and it's just like, yeah. I'm not going to name names because you know who you are. If she don't want to date me, that's her loss, you know? Fuck sickos and fuck rape and fuck forcing it and all that kind of bullshit, you know what I'm saying, dude? They always say nice guys finish last, but they end up becoming the dudes that chick pursue when they're sick and tired of dating assholes. I've seen it happen multiple times. Just ask Terrence Pop. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to name names because you know who you are. Like, I don't give a fuck if Ellen Knight wants to date me or not. I want to continue to back off and be a gentleman. Because there are plenty of cute goth chicks out there with, with similar interests, you know. You just got to find them and talk to them, you know. That's really 
what it's all about. Waiting patiently and doing your thing. I'm telling you right now, I want to finish this entire goddamn bottle on this can on stream. If you've got a problem with it, I don't care. I don't give a fuck, dude. You know that? You're a coward if you bully Angie, Walt, and Ellen. Why don't you pick on someone like me, pussies? Oh, Cobra, your glass is looking a little empty. I should mention, though, that cigarettes and alcohol are for people 21 and up. <laughs> Trying to make the cough sound like the opening to Sweet Leaf. <laughs> All right now. Like Ozzy Osbourne and Danny Schultz are both British. Get out of here, fly. Oh. Motherfucking flies are going to get fucking blasted, dude. Oh, dude, if you don't have a bug assault gun to kill your flies with... You don't know what you're missing out on. This is so much funner than having a fly swatter. No offense to the fly swatters out there. But this thing, not a sponsor. The bug assault guns. There are, there are loads of fun for killing flies, man. You're just like, <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> 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 oh yeah. Cough <laughs> to get off. on a side note, when I go up, <coughs> I don't hang out with Walt and Angie unless they invite me over. I go over there to play with their dogs and to hang out with <coughs> Angie and Walt. And that's the extent of it. <coughs> hmm. Like, you think watching me get swatted was terrifying? That's nothing compared to what's in store for my YouTube trolls. And that's not a threat. That's a fucking promise. And I'm not going to be the one to fucking do it. Because my fucking fans, I love my true YouTube fans, but some of my YouTube fans are more psychotic than my trolls, and they happen to be big supporters of me. So it's like, if you really want to keep testing the waters... See what fucking happens, dude. Well, I'm having a hard time finding an of age girlfriend to suck me off. So, you know what? I want to say I appreciate my trolls kissing my ass and sucking me off. Like, I've already ended my dry spell because of my YouTube trolls, you know. Because he won't quit fucking with me and trying to suck my dick. It's like, dude, my trolls suck my dick dry like a Capri Sun pouch. My fucking YouTube trolls suck my dick so hard, it's like sucking a Capri Sun pouch dry. Like, dude, can I have a cigarette and a Gatorade first? Goddamn. However, I can tune guitar by ear, so I don't need a tuner. <coughs> 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 And I, I already know what's going to fucking happen. People are going to message Ellen and be like, oh, Josh is talking about you on his YouTube channel. And all I said was, hey, I'm backing off from Ellen, so why don't you leave her the fuck alone too, asswipe? You want to sit here and fucking accuse me of stalking Ellen? But it's like, the only one that's stalking Ellen are my fucking YouTube trolls, dude. You know what I'm saying? When I go outside for a cigarette... 
Oh, here are my neighbors walking by and go, that's the guy. That's the legendary King Cobra. That dude makes badass videos. And I'm like, yeah! Now, for the record, I'm, I'm done talking about Ellen and Angie and Wallet on YouTube. The only reason I brought them up in this video is because a bunch of fucking assholes are accusing me of some shit that I'm not doing. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck all the bullshit. I have the right to defend myself. I've been accused of stalking chicks my entire life, and it was just all bullshit because you know how that goes. Those very same chicks are now going, you know what? He's got resting creep face, but like, he's an all right dude. I know my trolls are deliberately planning on YouTube pooping this three hour live stream, and no one's buying it, dude. It just shows that you that Cobra rules your life. It's pretty sad that even in my slightly drunken stupor, I can predict what they're going to do next. Like, you got to think, like, yeah, how, how annoying it is as a dude. When you're trying to approach a chick, you're not trying to fuck her immediately. You're just trying to feel the situation, you know. Buy her a drink because you think she's cute. And she immediately jumps down your throat because you're trying to rape her. And you're just like, okay. And then you hear her bitch because no guy will buy her a drink. And I'm like, gee, I wonder why. Mm. If I like the song, <coughs> if I like the song, I'll consider singing it. I'll practice it off camera. Well, when I was a kid, my favorite number was seventy-seven. And peacocks are majestic. I don't care what anyone says. You want to make sexual preferences, comments about that shit. No, if I built my clock tower dream house, honestly, I would get a raven. An all black raven. I don't care what gender it is. If it was a male, I would name him Hades. If it was a female, I'd name him Lilith. Uh, and I'd teach my uh, pet raven to cuss like a sailor. Like British and like American English cuss words. I can't imagine what my pet raven had to f learn how to fucking cuss like that. I really... Don't know how that could have happened. Okay, if I were to own a raven, I wouldn't look at it as a pet. I look at it, at it as a friend. Like impedimenta. Give me beer. Sweet. I mean, let's face it, if Harry Potter and magic were real, I'd have too much fun with that. Sure would. And that doesn't help the fact that Ellen Knight's also a Harry Potter fan, but I didn't say that out loud. Wow, okay, that's officially shut up, Cobra. Shut the fuck up. You know, if you attack, if you harass Ellen Knight, it's because you can't get a chick to. F you can't find a woman that has stuff in common with you, and you can't wait patiently. And every chick you try to date tells you no. And that's why my fucking trolls bully the chicks that I like. Because I, I can do all of those things despite the circumstances. Like, you don't want to date me? Yeah, that's your loss. I can wait patiently. After fucking five years of not having anything, you learn to wait patiently, dude. Real talk. After five years of not having anything to cover with, sleep with, you learn to wait patiently. 
And you know what? I would go the rest of my life without sex to end sickos, to tell you the truth. That's how I really fucking feel about that. You know, the forbidden, let's see, fuck necrophilia, fuck pedophiles, fuck neophiles, fuck rape, fuck incest, fuck bestiality. Yeah, that's the forbidden six. That works. Fuck the Forbidden Six. Yeah, I'll give the trolls a fucking meme to fuck with. Fuck them. Oh my god, dude. As soon as I get off stream and I turn my phone off of airplane mode, that shit's gonna blow the fuck up. Like, oh god! That Model T horn ringtone. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's going to be full of dumb assholes going, you better not go live, Cobra, as I'm going live. It's going to be full of dumb assholes pretending to be Ellen or Ellen's boyfriend or Ellen's parents going, you better quit harassing us. It's going to be full of fucking dumb assholes pretending to be my father going, you need to slow down on your drinking song. I care about you. And it's just like. <laughs> Excuse me. Even if I didn't go on vacation with my family, my dad still thought about me. And he was just like, hey, Cobra, here's a video of Ireland. I'm like, Cobra, you better not go live, you piece of shit, you bell tower obsessed loser, clock tower weirdo. Oh, by the way, the trolls pretending to be my neighbor is at my current location. I already informed my landlord about that, so your trolling doesn't work. Like, Ellen Knight don't want to date me? That's her loss. I'm not allowed to smoke in my apartment? Fuck it. Who cares? It could be worse, you know? I'm not going to name names because you know who you are. And the people, the, sincerely, Angie and Walt, if they had a problem with me, they could just tell me to fuck off and I'd do it. I'd leave them alone. Now, for the record, I'm, I'm done talking about Ellen and Angie and Walt on YouTube. People are sitting there going, oh, my God. And it's like, okay, ever since the bite-sized cobra bullshit, I've backed off. Like, kids are more precious than rock and roll, dude. Women say they want an asshole, but <coughs> that's all bullshit. Oh, excuse me. They're saying the exact opposite of what they want. And sometimes that's what women do. And that's what makes women beautifully more complicated. I go to fucking take a drink of alcohol and they're, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, sitting there getting spit all over my fucking Jafar goatee. And I'm like, fuck off, Antoine LaVey Jafar type status. Like, oh yeah, and fuck rape and fuck sickos. But like, I do appreciate y'all tuning in to the King Cobra channel. I fucking hate sickos more than I love Ozzy Osbourne. Every time he goes live, I'm going to record the entire video and then YouTube poop the fuck out of it to make him look like a miserable piece of shit. But all it does is just make my trolls look desperate for attention. And the only attention they get is fuck you. Pretty much the, the entire attention they've got their entire life. So to some degree, I figured it out. My trolls are used to being told, fuck you, their entire life. 
on a lot of things. I know I'm autistic, but I'm pretty sure if I bullied, bullied somebody more retarded than I am, you know, chicks would be like, you're an asshole. You know, and that's kind of how I feel about my YouTube trolls, to be honest. I've been live for four, almost five goddamn hours on YouTube, drinking, singing, and speaking my mind. The only reason my trolls cock block me is because they can't get no cock or pussy. I'm getting offers from gay dudes and straight chicks, and I'm just like, well, I'm flattered, but I'm straight for of age women that are alive and cisgendered and non related. So, uh, or the asshole trolls who are pretending to be Cobra and sending gay dudes to his apartment. Dudes, mind you, who are thinking what they're thinking and Cobra sexy, and I want some of that. And then they get disappointed, you know. To me, that pisses me off more than a dry spell. Yeah, you know how many gay guys I've had hit on me because of my fucking trolls or because people I thought were my friends couldn't respect my boundaries? Don't even get me started. None of the trolls can handle being me, dude. None of the trolls can handle being King Cobra JFS. That's the fucking truth. You know, call me an inhuman piece of shit, but it's like the apartment complex I live in is like, hey, Cobra, no smoking inside. I don't give a shit if I can sing like John Lennon. And fucking Sam Smith and maybe, you know, John Legend. It's like, oh, hey, Cobra, you've been going live for almost five hours on YouTube. You know, I, I'll take a break from seducing of age women and just telling it like it is from my perspective to be political on some things. And there might be some people who are like, I don't agree with King Cobra's politics. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bloody good, YouTube. Mm. <laughs> There's nothing against having a legal fate. <laughs> I have no idea how the fuck. The little cartridges are going to turn out, you know. Like, seriously, to some degree, I'm not saying I go on dangerous spy missions, but people expect the worst from me, and I always turn out on top. You know, like, Cobra's going live and he's drinking. Oh, this ought to be a fun fucking stream. Cobra just telling it like it is. This fucking autistic piece of shit. I'm over here like, bro. In my current state of alcoholic intoxication, I'd like to say fuck assassination. And uh, gun safety 101, you know. Now, for the record, I'm I'm done talking about Ellen and Angie and Walt on YouTube. And, you know, I don't care if Ellen dates me. But, like, the f simple fact of the matter is, her family likes me. Her dad invites me to go down and watch football with him. There's nothing wrong with that, YouTube. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. After all the alcohol and drink, let's give myself a test. Watch out!
All right. I'm walking a straight line. Because apparently Cobra is too much of a fucking retard to do anything, right? His fucking music sucks. And his fucking sucks. Fuck the trolls, dude. This is fucking hilarious. I'm not trying to be a dick about it, but it's like, bro. Yeehaw. And look at that. The stream is still going. <laughs> 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 uh, fuck. You know, I'm trying to find the fucking lift for that son of a bitch. One second. No one expects me to be the fucking autistic retard. Durr. Oh, if he loses his in uh, his cushion or his chair, that's just dirt. Ah, we'll find it. We'll find it. It's not underneath. Oh my fucking god, dude. The worst fucking time where it's like, hey, the juice on your drink combo is going to disappear and it's going to make you look like a piece of shit. Okay, so then, why the fuck? You know what I'm saying? That's what pisses me off about life. It's like, okay, I don't mind dealing with the bullshit to a degree. But it's like, oh, hey. Because, oh, fuck yeah, there's the fucking... <laughs> Fuck psychos unless you're, you know, YouTube trolls or sit there and like, oh, I'm gonna fuck with him. And it's like, you don't fuck with shit. All you fuck with is your own tiny micro penis. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> Excuse me a second. <sighs> a black metal boggle. <sighs> oh, that is so gross. Uh, <sighs> dude. I'm all for tolerating gay rights, but when the gays start hating on the trans people, I'm like, I'm done. 
Y'all can have fun with this Civil War bullshit. No, oh, man. Fuck suicide and fuck murder. Fuck all you cheap bastard. You gonna drink some Arizona mocha mango. Yeah. Yeah, Cobra. Living that life. <laughs> Seven hours, man. You see, like, I'm not being obnoxiously drunk. You think, okay, Cobra's been drinking a little bit. Oh, he's a silly bastard. And like I said, it's not about who you date. It's about the impact you make.